yaga 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 type of agent. How much is your money range? <laughs> Without a budget, you are going to crumble. Are, are you guys flowing with me? How much the English was articulated? You know that's my field. Something that will suit what you are looking for. Say a big no. in Abuja, Nigeria. Yes, it's a different type of video. It's not makeup. So yes. But if you want to see how I achieve this look on my face, please check the description box below. Follow me on my Instagram page. The video will be up. So watch there. Thank you guys. So yes, let's start. So I'm just going to be stating five important things you need to note before you proceed in getting a house. So yes, the first thing you need to note is you need to get an agent. And when I mean an agent, I don't mean a yaga 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 type of agent. I mean a proper registered agent. Because here in Abuja, honestly speaking, I won't lie to you guys, I'm just tell you guys the basic truth. Everybody is considered as an agent. The driver that will take you to the house be an agent all of a sudden. In fact, they plumb back and come and tell you, babe, I'm an agent all of a sudden. Just because they feel like you don't know your way around and stuff. That's Nigeria for you. So yes, you need to get a registered agent because in case you end up having issues with the house or the people who gave you the house are not meeting up to what they said they were going to meet up to, you have somewhere to go to. Because if the agent is registered, they have every right to come and, you know, put in hands and fight for you for all those things to be done. This is very important. Like, I can't stress this enough. If you don't get a registered agent and you end up getting one of all these roadside, you will be duped. Like, honestly speaking, you will be duped. I was almost duped. Not even almost duped. I was duped. But I was just a lucky person, you know. That story is just going to be for another day. So for now, you need an agent that has a company where you could register and everything. So the second thing on my list would be your budget. What is your budget? These are the questions you need to have in your head. What is my budget? How much do I want to spend here? How much do I, you know? I'm, a, I'm an accountant student and I'll just tell you the truth. Without a budget, you are going to crumble. Crumble. So you need, even when you get to the agent, the first question they ask you is, what is your budget? What are you looking at? You feel me? So you need to have a budget already planned before thinking of what else. The third thing on my list is, you need to have an idea of what you want your house to look like. For example, I'm a makeup artist. If I'm going to look for an apartment, I'll be looking for a place that has big windows somewhere where enough sunlight can enter so for me that, that that's exactly what i'll be looking for you understand me are, are you guys flowing with me yes so you need to just have that in your head how do i want this place to be how do i want this site to look like do i want a big kitchen you know just have everything in your head yes fourth thing is your location your location is very very important because most people, most people prefer to choose location over the price. You understand? Like, if this location is a calm place, like it's cool, they would want to go for that place than going for a noisy place or such. But now, let's come down to NYC level. If you are a copper and you are looking for a house, location is very important. Yes. 
why do I say location? First of all, if you are the type that is your work, that is your problem, you want to look for somewhere close to your office or your job or your workplace to be able to spend less. Well, you know 33k goes nowhere. I'm sure you all know 33k goes no fucking way. Then, for people who are doing businesses, like we the entrepreneurs, we would want somewhere our customers can easily access us. Now, me a makeup artist, I can't say I'm going to look for a house in Lokogoma or going to look for a house in Kubwa. And then I expect my clients to come all the way from wherever they are staying to come all the way to Lokogoma. I'm sure if you stay in Abuja, you will know where these like where these locations are. They are not bad places, but when we we'll say it's a happening place in Abuja, I won't say it's a happening place, but there are a lot of people there, businesses, all the stuff. So imagine if your client is coming from, let's say, Meitama, and you are like, oh, I stay at Lokogoma, I stay at Kubwa. Your client would rather do her makeup. Let me use makeup because you know that's my field. So she would rather do her makeup in Wuse than come all the way to Kubwa or Lokogoma that is very far. So if you are into business, you need to really be ha. Oh, you need to just think this location thing in your head very well because you end up going to places where your clients will be declining because they know that that place is far. If I'm staying in Waripa, if my client is in Metama, if I tell her I'm in Waripa, Waripa is not in town, but it's somewhere that people are around. Do you understand? Like it's somewhere you can easily access. So she would easily want to come all the way to Waripa than come all the way to Bokoboma or Kubwa. You feel me? So yes, if you are somebody that likes the whole calm, I don't want to be seeing anybody, then you could go as far as Bokoboma, you know, you know, you could just, but I'm just saying, if you have a business and you want people to access you, you have to go closer to them. They can't come to you. You know, you just have to go closer to them so it's easy. And the fifth thing I have is take your time. Ha, I can't stress this part because I didn't take my time. And that was why whatever happened to me happened to me. That's another story. You know, you just have to hit that notification bell so that when that story comes up, you come and listen to more gist, more gist to speak to your system. Mm -hmm. That kind. These agents will pressure you. They'll take you to houses, they'll tell you, stay here, stay here, stay here, this place is good for you, this is what you're looking for. Oh my, if that house is not what you're looking for, my dear, do not, I repeat, do not concur. That's the word I'm going to use. So if it's not something that will suit what you're looking for, say a big no that you don't want it. It's, it's as easy as that. If it's going to take you a whole month, Ha, to find that house that you are looking for. Better for you, oh my dear. You might even find it cheaper, you might find it better, you might have better space. So that's that's how it's just going to be. So those are the five things you need to know. Those are the five things you really, really, really need to know before looking for a house in Abuja. So all your coppers who are in search of a house here in Abuja, this video is for you guys watch so that's it so i'm just going to be putting clips i took back then early, early this year while i was looking for mine i'm going to put them then put their location and put their prices so yeah that's it oh more you will see a lot of crappy houses because <laughs> they were showing your girl crappy houses too so you're just going to see crappy houses like that and yes
guys so much for watching this video i am so grateful please do not forget to hit that subscribe button right there you know yeah and also hit the like button and also hit the look <laughs> i'm choking the notification bell so that when i have a new gist up guys you guys can see the video